वेलकम टू शेठ विद्या मंदिर ऑनलाइन लेसन्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट स्टार्ट विद सम ऑन एन पी ओ दिव्या लाइब्रेरी बुलदाना शोड द फॉलोइंग पोजिशन बैलेंस शीट इज गिवेन टू यू दिस बैलेंस शीट इज गिवेन टू यू ऑफ द ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन ओके एंड वॉट वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रिपेयर इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर अकाउंट एंड बैलेंस शीट ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन दिस इज द ईयर एंड दिस बैलेंस शीट इज गिवेन टू अस ऑफ थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन दैट मीन्स इट इज प्रीवियस ईयर बैलेंस शीट सो कैपिटल फंड वेयर विल कैपिटल फंड गो बैलेंस शीट ऑफ आर करेंट ईयर एक्सपेंसिस ड्यू वी शेल डील विद दिस लेटर फर्नीचर अगेन बैलेंस शीट एसेट साइड बुक्स एसेट साइड इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सिक्योरिटीज एसेट and this we will not write it anywhere here okay and this will be in go in the liability set now apart from this balance sheet what is given to us is receipt and payment account for the present year for the current year see receipt and payment now let us mark what will go where electricity charges in income and expenditure account it will go in the expenses side postage again expenses books purchased balance sheet asset side payment for expenses due now students just see this payment for you have paid 3500 for expenses due now see the previous years balance sheet expenses due on the liabilities was 3500 so these expenses are paid here they are paid now so no entry in our current year income expenditure account okay sundry expenses expenses side investment asset furniture again asset side balance carried down this will again go to our asset side now let's go to the receipt side this you will not write no entry is made of this membership subscription is our income entrance fee is our income sale of scrap is our income hire of lecture hall income interest on securities income now few adjustments are given to us just let's check that during the current year furniture was purchased on 1st october 2015 and what is our year ending date 31st march 2016 see furniture worth 14000 was purchased on 1st october 2015 that means we use this furniture for 6 months so accordingly we have to calculate depreciation so let us mark here in furniture because there is adjustment depreciate books by 50000 let's mark in our books also there is adjustment membership subscription received during the year includes 7500 for the year 2016 17 this is the next year what is our current year 16 so it is 15 16 now here it is paid to us for 16 17 so that is next year so you will deduct this and second effect in the balance sheet liability side out subscription received in advance okay and this is outstanding subscription so this will go in balance sheet asset side and the second effect of this 3750 again it will come here so let us mark it here as well outstanding we will add and prepaid we will minus and the last one is capitalized half of entrance fees now let us mark our entrance fees entrance fees is 12500 half will be written as income and other half will go in the balance sheet so all the markings are done and everything here is done now let's start the sum i have already prepared income and expenditure account and as well as the balance sheet as on 31st march 2016 so let us start first we'll start with the capital fund
capital fund is given to us over here. Three lakh forty-five thousand in our column. Next is furniture asset side. Furniture is thirty-six two fifty. Leave line, leave two three lines. After that, write books. Books is given as. Two seven five five hundred. Again, leave space three lines. Write investment. Investment is given as twenty five thousand. Okay. Now let's move on to income and expenses. This receipt and payment account. Now let's do all the payment side first. Okay. So first is electricity charges. So I will write here two electricity charges directly outer column. Three four nine zero. Next is two postage. It's given here three zero five zero. Now next is books purchased. So let me go to my asset. And add in books here. Purchase during the current year is how much? Forty thousand. Okay. So that will become three one five five zero zero. That is my books. Now, after that is payment for expenses due is not there. We have seen that sundry expenses. So let's go again to the expenditure and write here two sundry expenses. What was the amount of sundry expenses? Five two five zero. Next is investment in securities fifty thousand. Again, balance sheet. Add investments made during the year. How much is it? Fifty thousand. That is fifty. Okay. So nothing else here. Outer column. Seventy-five thousand. Now what else after this? Furniture. Furniture fourteen thousand is added. Add purchase during the year. Fourteen thousand. So that becomes fifty thousand two fifty. Next is balance carried down, cash in hand, cash at bank. So take it to the balance sheet. Right here, cash in hand. Three two one zero. Cash at bank is three five zero zero. Next, let's move on to the receipt side. This is not to be written. My membership subscription. So let's go to the income and write down by. Subscription. 
what is the amount given to us 90,000 in the inner column. Now, there is adjustment we will come back to it later let us leave some space and write entrance fees. Entrance fees 12,500. Now, again there is adjustment so leave some space by sale of scrap. What is the amount here? 750 directly out of column. Next to hire of lecture hall 9000. So, no need to leave space here write on buy hire of lecture hall 9000. After that interest on securities that is also our income by interest on securities outer column 2000. Okay. So, all this is done now. Let us move on to our adjustments. Now, adjustments is furniture was purchased on 1st October. So, you have to depreciate it for 6 months. So, let us prepare a working note for furniture. Now, see this. Furniture, the initial amount was 36,250 and purchased furniture is 14,000. So, this furniture, furniture number 1 and 2 let us call. This is furniture 1, this is furniture 2. Now, this furniture 1 is used for 12 months and this furniture number 2 is used only for 6 months. It is used from 1st October 1, 10 to 31st 3, that is 31st March, 1st October to 31st March. So, it is used only for 6 months, whereas this furniture 1 is used for 12 months. So, how will you calculate depreciation? Depreciation it is given to you 10 percent. So, 36,250 into 10 upon 100, that is 3,625 and 14,000 into 10 percent into 6 upon 12, because it is used only for 6 months. So, the answer is 700. So, total depreciation you have to add both the amounts. So, total depreciation is 4325. This is your amount. So, write this as your working note and then let us take it to the balance sheet. Balance sheet write down less depreciation 10 percent. 4325. So, your outer column is 45,925. Okay. Now, next is depreciate books by 50,000. So, let us go to our books. Books here less depreciation 50,000. So, outer column will be 2,65,500. Now, depreciation second effect income and expenditure account take it to your expenditure and write here 2 depreciation on furniture was how much? 4, 3, 2, 5 and books 50,000. So, total depreciation is 54,325 that is my total depreciation. Now, what is the next adjustment? Membership subscription received during the year. So, they have told us outstanding subscription and prepaid subscription. So, let us go to our subscription less for prepaid we will call it received in advance less received in advance is 7500 
and add outstanding subscription that is 3750. So, your outer column will be 86,250. Now, let us give the second effect. Go to the balance sheet. Outstanding subscription is our asset. So, I will write here outstanding subscription 3750 and advance what we have done subscription received in advance I will write here subscription received in advance for 2016-17 is 7500. So, subscription is done. Now, next is capitalize half of the entrance fees. So, let us go to our income and expenditure account entrance fees. So, I will write here less half capitalized. So, half is 6250. So, outer column 6250. And the second effect take it to the balance sheet capital fund add entrance fees 6250. Everything is done. Let us find out whether we have surplus or we have deficit in our income and expenditure account. So, we will total our income column and total our expenditure column. So, we are getting here total as 1,4250. write the same again and 2 you can write just surplus or you can write excess of income over expenditure is how much third no, outer column 38135 okay so, this is my surplus. Now, surplus where will I take it to the capital fund? You have to add surplus. Suppose I had deficit, I would deduct it. So, I will add here surplus that is 38135. So, my outer column will be 3,89,385. So, now I have to do the total of the liability side as well as the asset side and let us see if it tallies. So, here I will write three lakh ninety six thousand eight hundred and eighty five and here same amount three lakh. 96,885. As you can see, our balance sheet has tallied. We shall meet again. Take care. Thank you. Bye.